I'm playing Superman on the Nintendo 64. Well, I'm playing it on an emulator at least. <laughs> yeah, apparently you requested me to do this game, so yeah, here I am. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore these guys. So yeah, let's just go ahead and pick this card up and then just drain the water. And go over here. And we killed the electric eel again. That's just lovely. All right. But of course, that also means, well, now that I've gotten back to where I left off, I can actually uh, do something stupid such uh, such as this. So, first of all, we're going to go into this room where the scientists are being held. Well, not the scientists, more like the dam workers. And if we go in here and then just back up while this uh, while this guy is coming towards us, Is, is he on his way? Yes, he is. And while this guy is walking towards us, we can just keep backing up and just lure him towards... And lure, and lure him towards the water tank. And if we do that, it actually screws up some of the popping of, uh, pop of some of the enemies. But of course, it does take a while. So, let's just keep backing up. And... Alright, here's that door I'm looking for. But of course... <coughs> But of course, whatever you do, don't don't let the door close on this guy. Otherwise, uh, otherwise that will make you fail for some reason. Let's um, and let's see if I can actually get the camera to rotate towards the wall, uh, just so that that he will bounce off of uh, the walls. Yep. The enemies just uh, just pop in just like that. Well, apparently I wasn't able to do it, but yeah. <laughs> but anyway, of course. Anyway, so if we go back uh, to um, uh, to where the the room where the science uh, well the dam workers are being held. We can actually uh, find our second ability, and that is Super Speed. And it can actually make Superman go faster and give us uh, this whooshing sound. Now, I, if you saw my first video, uh, well, my first playthrough of this game, I wasn't able to get this to happen. Because, for some reason, the walls kept slowing me down, <laughs> is what I found out. But I was able to get this to work on the Nintendo 64. But unfortunately, I can't really show it off here, which which is just disappointing. But at least the good news is I did find another way to uh, I did find another way to go through the walls in this uh, in this level or what, earlier. But yeah. Now, for those of you who missed it, I'm. I will be. Uh, I'm going to be posting this uh, this video as a stream highlight, and I'm going to I'm going to be posting this video on uh, this video on YouTube. So yeah, no need to worry there. All right, so we're just going to go back up here, and oh yeah, one more thing you need to do before uh, before you go back up though. You're gonna need to get this uh, this uh, ice brush or whatever, because you are going to need it for a little certain something. 
But of course I'm... Oh wait, did I pick up the health pack? Yes I did. So, never mind. Alright then, so... Yeah. Anyway, let's just go back up here. Wow, this fog. And apparently... All of a sudden, this uh, this tank just came up out of nowhere. Oh wow! How would, uh, how she was able to fit uh, to fit a tank in here? I will never know. But it makes no sense for uh, for her to be on a balcony with a small elevator. Anyway, here's our first boss. So. Let's go ahead and uh, just get rid of these turrets first, because they're just going to be in the way. And the frame rate is dropping again, and let's just land on the ground. How do you win this fight? Just by holding down the A button, as always. And then once you defeat her, she just fades out like that. She doesn't fall to the floor or anything. <laughs> oh, man. But of course, whatever you do, like I said, be careful with, uh, with Mala because she can fall through the floor. And if that happens, you're not going to be able to complete the stage. Besides, this door doesn't really open until you defeat her. Unfortunately. Which means you're going to have to reset the level if she falls through, uh, through the floor. But anyway, so let's just go ahead and... yeah. Just defeat the turrets. Why not? And apparently I'm close to dying, so I might have to redo this stage. And yes, you're supposed to go back to this computer just so you can open those other two doors. And... Now, you go through, uh, through both of these doors. You go through, like, it doesn't matter which door you go through first, so, yeah. Anyway, so... Now... Over here is uh, is one of the bombs we're looking for. You think you punch it, right? But nope. You're actually supposed to freeze it with your uh, with your ice breath. And why is uh, the the bombs suspended in midair? I will never know. I wouldn't th I wouldn't think it was it was bad game design, but yeah. Anyway, here's the here's the next bomb, so we're just gonna finish this level. But of course, after you uh, freeze both bombs, eh, if you're on low health, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to uh, press start fast enough because if you don't uh, if you're just uh, constantly like how shall I put this? If you don't press start fast enough, and as uh, that uh, that enemy drops bombs at, on you, you can actually die uh, uh, even after you complete the level. Yep. Anyway. Then there's no time to waste. So anyway, we have more rings. So let's get to it. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I have to mention. So, this is probably one of the stupidest options that I have ever seen in any game. If you notice there's black bars around the screen, that's because I have, uh, have the display set to cinema. And so you can either go full screen if you wanted to, or, or you could do this. You could set the display to 80% or 60% if you wanted to. 
40%? Or 20%? Oh, wow. Just wow. Yep. You know what? I think I'm going to use this feature. Why not? So, yeah. Let's just enjoy the game and... In all its glory and uh, this. And. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is already causing me problems. Oh, man. I mean. Uh, also, another thing about. Uh, I'm going to set the, the display back, uh, just so you can see this. If you thought the first ring section was bad, uh, the rings have started moving. And yes, it's going to get a lot harder uh, later on. Anyway, let's, um, let's set the display back, so... Because I actually want a bit of a challenge right now. All right. After I get rid of these three enemies, I'm I'm gonna set it back because uh, uh, this is giving me a headache. Yep. There it goes. And let's see. Where's that other enemy? I mean, seriously, uh, who, uh, when would uh, would this option ever uh, ever be useful? Uh, who is going to need that much of the screen? Uh, just uh, why twenty percent? Uh, I mean. But I did once hear from Proton John that uh, the frame rate seems to run a bit better when you're playing the game like this. Yeah. Ah, there he is. Yeah. Alright then. Alright, where... Uh... Ah, there he is. So, yeah, let's just take this guy out. Oh, thank goodness. Let's turn that back. Oh, man. So, yeah. Let's just continue going through the rings. Oh, yeah, and these ring sections. Another thing I have to comment about them is that... Each ring set. And everything I have to make clear is that each ring section has uh, their. Uh, uh, has uh, four mini games. Uh, yes. In each ring. Uh, well, in each ring level, there's uh, four ring sections and four uh, mini games. So, yeah, it's basically a, a common tradition in this game. Anyway, let's just, yeah, let's just enjoy the next ring stage while we're at it. Oh yeah, another thing I have to, I have to make clear with the rings. Some of the rings can actually clip through the ground. I believe this particular ring will let me show it off. Yes. Uh, yes. Apparently, that is just... Why would they ever, uh, ever have the rings clip through the ground? That, that is just a cheap move. I mean... Yeah. I only... Uh, I'm at a loss for words right now. Of course, I did also mention in my uh, in my.